subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Do we have what it takes to complete this epic course? Stay tuned. Okay, it's press day for the both of us today. I'm doing uh, the sun's out, so while the sun's out, I'm doing press medley. Well, we're doing log pressing outside. Uh, it's because the world's strongest man is outside, and it's as sunny as Florida here, so why not? Huh? Exactly. Because like, obviously we've been outside as well when we're pressing. Focus point, really, so. Yeah, it's hard to focus. So when you're inside, you don't have the bright light kind of shining down your face. So we're trying to replicate as much as we can. Um, what world will be like. Hopefully it will be outside. I mean, if it's not, it's not. <laughs> we're just assuming. Um, Hopefully it's raining every day as well. So, so yeah, so Tom's going to do his log medley. I've got some, tried to do hopefully some speed reps with 140. Um, and then just take it from there. Then some accessories. So this is a big one today. Can I get to grips with the pressing? See how that goes. Get the drone up in the sky. Yeah, boy. <laughs> medley is 120, 140, 160, 180. It's not about going too fast because you'll slip anywhere, but yeah, it's just about completing it, bruv. So I'm doing three sets of three um, with 140, which is the empty log, in case anyone was wondering how heavy our awesome log is made by the amazing Richard Looney. Thank you very much again, sir. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and do one motion log, see how that goes. Obviously in, in worlds it's a ladder as well, so the quicker we can get through the lighter ones, then we get a bit more time in the heavier. Um, so see how it goes and then hopefully I don't hurt myself. See what happens. I'm going to do 160 on the wooden log, then I'm going to do a medley. How did your set go, Tom? Uh, yeah, 120 to 180. It's hard. This is going to be my weakest event by a mile. Um, especially if you have all different logs. I'll just do 120 to 160. That'll be my goal at Worlds. And leave 180. 180's nowhere. It's never going to get hit. Not even in. Out there, so. so. But it's hard. Okay, I just lost balance with the 180. Just first time we've done this outside, so it's just getting that point to focus. It gets, I always get dizzy looking into the sky. So it's something that, you know, we're hitting it now. So it's, um, as long as the weather is nice, I think we'll continue to press outside just to make us more accustomed to um, doing that, obviously. Um, yeah, so it felt okay. 
uh, do an hour set, see how that goes. And then another one, and another one. Ten hours later. Yeah, so, so we set up 120 to 180. Like I said, again, it's my first kind of proper session with uh, the medley different logs. But I did up to 160 quite fast, and then 180's just today not there. Hopefully, I'll keep building this up in the next few weeks and it'll be, I'll get there. But 120, 140, 160 felt nice. More just uh, take my time on the 180 and get more breath in, and boom, should be there. But yeah, happy enough. I think that's something that Tom and I just realised there that we need to focus on is working outside. Kind of working in the environment that we're going to be in. Obviously the environment changes all the time so we need to kind of be ready for that. Um, a lot of the time, myself, Tom, other athletes, we all train inside in the optimum of conditions which is nice. But yeah, getting out there kind of, you know, the floor is not the driest, the logs get wet, it's damp, humid, so that kind of, that type of um, uh, awkward or bad environment to be training and helps us in the long run so although it feels harder to now hopefully uh, for worlds it'll make it all easier so yeah happy enough so a couple of kind of one motions a couple of sets one motions a couple of sets with a uh, log run so that's good on to some accessory stuff and hopefully get an early night it doesn't feel heavy to be honest you know like the first 180 I done I had it off my chest and pressed up but it's just I think it's just more the balance and stuff and like I don't have a focus point when you're outside you know you're just looking up in the sky and it's all uh, it's bright but I did a 120, 140, 160 fast on both runs so it's just uh, the next few weeks will just be conditioning my uh, shoulders that's the one uh, so I'll probably hit this twice a week now on Tuesdays maybe do up to 160 and then on Fridays or Saturday do it separately and do a 120 to 180 whole run again so just to keep uh, basically overtraining this twice a week and just keep nailing it and try and hit that one. Yeah, and we're using different logs as well. I think maybe at Worlds it might only be like the same log five different times. So uh, yeah, happy enough. So let's do it. That's our main compound lifts done. So now we've got to go in and do some accessories. So I'm doing incline dumbbells, also doing face pulls um, and some lap pull downs. So obviously when we're, when we're kind of doing our compound lifts or log presses, I don't usually go strict. So I like to do like a heavier set on incline just to increase my kind of shoulder strength, my strict power. I always find that crossover with dumbbells, incline dumbbell press, a high incline dumbbell press, quite a good crossover for log press. It just gives me that power, but I slow, so it's slow down on the eccentric movement, and then in the pop, really get that power going on the on the top half on the on the press. So that mimics the kind of the log press motion almost you know so we're looking when we control the log I kind of 
almost control it slightly down and then I'm looking for that power, that instant explosive power um, from my chest. So I'll show you later what I mean by that, so stay tuned. You know, I see a lot of guys having to get dumbbells passed up to them. And you know, when you're doing 100 kilo dumbbells each hand, then yeah, that makes sense. But like with, um, you know, the, on the lower side, I think we should all be able to manage to pick them up ourselves. So for me, I like to pick them up one by one. So I, I'll throw one up onto one leg, throw one up to the other. And like, for me, I kind of it off. I kind of roll it up to my, I barely a little bit to my hips. And then I bang my hips through to kind of throw it up in the air. So watch this. Hopefully it'll work. <coughs> so as you can see, it's nice and it's here, ready to go. And nice and slow. Oh. <coughs> 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 really slow, this last one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. like a snail. And then explode like a hair. And that's it. So without that snap, for me personally, I kind of struggle with the log. Um, I'm not very good at, I'm okay, I suppose. Best in the UK. Um, but yeah, it's not my forte grinding it out. You know, usually when I get that pop, that explosiveness off my chest, I'm usually pretty good. So again, that's what I look for. That's, this, this is a big help. This is what um, Sebastian um, has thrown in. Australian strength coach, so thank you very much. I'm tired today, boys and girls and uh, everyone. So I need food. I need my bed. I need a big hug from Sinead. I need my belly rub. What have you been up to? Why are you so tired? Well, I was just waiting about for you guys all day, you know. He's going on a date to get food and leave me in the gym by myself for about three hours, so. It's always trying to look after you guys. It's hard work, you know. Right, we're going to do some face pulls, yeah? You want to face pull me? I don't like slapping my face because it hurts. The last accessory for me is some face pulls above the head or just like over the head. Um, again, as I said, when we're pressing a lot of the time, our shoulders have a tendency to kind of bow in on themselves. And obviously that's not the best for posture when we're sat like that. So the face pulls, that just opens up our chest. Um, targets are kind of our rear delts as well. It's just covering all the small muscles as well. That's what we need to do as well for having a good log press, having a good bench press, any type of press and movement, and get that posture nice and pop. So when we're, when we're deadlifting, 90 99 times out of 100, we don't see a deadlift like that, you know, rolled over. So we want our chest to be out when we're deadlifting. So again, that face pull, it just keeps that chest, that shoulder blades back. <clears throat> And that's face pulls. What do you think, Tom? What? Why, why do you do face pulls? Just to get taught to do them. <laughs> <laughs> that's today done. So, uh, we log ladder, log medley. That was, uh, yeah, it was quite tough actually. Um, but I think the more we do it outside again, as we said, I think the more we'll improve. Uh, it's not so much the weights, it's just the uh, Looking into the sky, just it's tough. So we'll work on it. I might just close my eyes when I do it. I don't know. Yeah, buddy. Good input, Tom. It'll come. Um, so it's a relatively early finish tonight. It's still quite bright, which is nice. I'm gonna do some hot and cold tonight. Um, Lad Bible contacted us too. Oh yeah, Lad Bible. So we're famous now, bruv. So we got Simon famous. He started from the bottom. Now he's here. <laughs> thank you. Say thank you, Simon. Please like this video. Please, KP, please comment. Please comment if you please subscribe. Please comment if you want Tom to eat something extra spicy and a video coming soon. So, yes for a spicy challenge for Tom, or no for a spicy challenge for Tom. So, you decide. If my fans love me, they'd say no, but. Well, Tom's got fans now, he's made it. He's made it, is he? We'll Fam, see what mm -hmm. happens, like. mm -hmm. Mr. Famous. We smile. We stay safe, we stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell.
Ding dong, dingy dingy dong dong. Ding dong. 